call that a parking job? These pirates are making the rest of us look bad. Performing a sweep of the area. Classification. Low. Traffic level. Let's show it! Muting volume now. No one knows how to make an entrance.
and ready to Scanning for C, 2, 5, 4, 7, grade rated contaminants. Thank you, customer. All cleaning tasks have been completed. Scheduling next round of cleaning to commence in four minutes. Yes? Did you find my colleague, Jameson? That is tragic news. I never did right by him. Only cared about how he helped or hurt my research. And now I'll have to live with that.
Warning, intruders will be... Oh, it's you. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Oh, that whiskey to give my headache and something fierce. Feels like a primal's chewing on my skull. I messaged Junlei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Hello? Can you hear me? Does this work? Oh, damn it! Blast! That's loud! I'm just securing my ongoing experiments. And securing myself. 
mind the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. was my greatest accomplishment. Your odds of survival were a mere 28%. Yeah. 
my communications terminal. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Stay safe out there. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put in? Thank you. 
It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? That's right, dearie. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. Go right ahead, sweetheart. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Gracious. Won a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub. She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Hail, Captain. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. Good luck, Captain.
Mobilizing silent scrubbers. Something on your mind? I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Gotta advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way.
Makes two of us, Captain. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. No complaints here. Good to see you, boss. Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. That's what they called us. Orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. That's exactly what I've been saying. The system doesn't care about the individual. We're only as valuable as our jobs. Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. The foreman and I never got on. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You wanna try it. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Yeah, I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get going. Destination reached, Scylla.
Particles detected. Vacuum them up. This is the right place if you want to trade contraband, or hide smuggled goods, or do anything fun, really. again. Hey, outlaw. You know, you didn't have to shoot me down if you wanted an autograph. Shut up now, and you might get out of this alive. Tremendous work, friend. Here I was, readying a daring maneuver, and you've come and saved me the trouble. Why does that sound familiar? Ah, uh -uh, it's Ellie. Excellent timing. Hello, Ellie. What a pleasure it is to see your sparkling beauty in this barren waste. It's Dr. Fenhill. You're absolutely correct, friend. No need to dwell on this, not at all. Symptoms detected. Elevated heart rate. Dilated pupils. Increased sweat production. Subject appears to be terrified. I'm not terrified, you bucket of bolts. That's victory sweat. The one and only. Uh, wait, who's asking? Wanda didn't send you, did she? I swear, land on Groundbreaker even a moment tardy, and that busybody's already been up your ass an hour. You tell her these Automechs are coming, and sending a hired stooge to rescue me from certain peril only furthers my delay. No offense. Yes, well, I shan't. Give Wanda my chilliest regards. And farewell to you, dear Dr. Fenhill. I trust I'll see you next I find myself on the Groundbreaker. You'd better hope not.
No challenge is too large, no mess is too small. There's no credible research on the health effects of standing directly under a terraformer, Captain. In case you were wondering. Mold, detected. Mildew, detected. Body odor, detected. Ear mites, detected. Place never even had a bar. No wonder it's abandoned. 